So? What's that mean? Come on. What fight did we instantly resolve by moving to France? Speaking French. Okay. Why was it a fight though? Because you didn't speak French with me and with the kids. It was always like only when you were in France, basically. And you know French. But why was that big of a deal? Because it I wasn't. Mean, a, it wasn't a big deal before we okay, had kids. Okay, that's true. The first four years we had kids, we met speaking English. So when you meet a person, you associate a person with a language. So we met speaking English. Him and I were speaking English together for four years. Then suddenly I get preggers and I'm like, oops, now we're doing everything in French, buddy. And you didn't learn in four years. So then I, everything in the house is in French. Yeah. Podcasts in French for the kids, any cartoons, any audiobooks, um, me speaking to them in French. We even had French speaking roommates. I mean, you name it. Movies. And then movies, that's true. Everything was dubbed. That's true. Yeah, so we really emphasize it. So you got more and more submerged to the language, but then you took a couple of my classes, right? You wanna tell them about that? College classes, raising my hand. Uh, professor. <laughs> so you took a couple of college classes started learning you know, some of the basics and whatnot, instructor of the language, and then what really helped you was what? Be, well, being here, coming here. Yeah. So coming every year, we'd come back every year, and you know, the spring, early summer, and he just fell in love with France, and then suddenly he had to use a language that he had been learning. I think more so, it forces you to connect. Like, I have a hard time with school, sitting down, opening up a textbook, and reading it and memorizing it just isn't my thing. Uh, I have to be out and using it, and it's more. What, what is that? Um, like this, you're kinesthetic. more kinesthetic, yeah, kinesthetic. yeah, in terms of learning style. That's true. Yeah, and uh, coming here, being it's way more motivating coming to the country of the language that you're learning. Way more motivating to learn, and it's way easier to learn. Um, you know, like if 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 we if we dropped you off in let's say France and you didn't know French, but you were with 10 of your American buddies uh, or whatever country you're, you're from, uh, you could get by, you're really just gonna talk amongst each other and you're not gonna have to use the language. Mm -hmm. But if we dropped you off and gave you a thousand bucks and said, uh, here, <laughs> survive, you're, you're definitely gonna survive and your brain's gonna pick it up and you're, you're gonna learn a lot faster like that. Mm, that's true, so that's how he learned. Mm -hmm. And at first, you know, it was just all, even my friends, some speak English because in Europe in general, sorry, we have our Enzo, our dog snoring. Um, but you know, he's 15, he's living the life, living his best life yet. Uh, but our friends, even the ones in Europe, since a lot of people do speak English and even a second, third language, I would tell my friends that spoke English, do not speak in English to him. He needs to learn French. So little by little. But yet, but yet <laughs> they wanted to speak English with me because they wanted to practice English. So it was always a fight between like, them hearing my accent and, and seeing that I'm struggling and then I've only had good experiences with people being really patient with me and that's not just our friends, that's just people at the store, they're interested, oh, where are you from? Oh, you speak good French. And I'm like, no, I suck at French. No, and you have a good accent because you're musical, you have a really good accent. Yeah, like I said so, that today. See, I told you. Um, so basically moving to France, so after he got to a certain level of French and I could see he could have full on conversations, I'm like, let's speak in French together. And you speak in French with the kids and the kids were not used to speaking in French with dad who they associate always or papa, they always associate speaking English. So it's still stuck in English, but living in the States, I really wanted us to speak French. And so we kind of do now, we do a mix of English and French. I think together, it depends on what we're talking about. But I still remember the first time we fought in French. That was kind of and funny. And you were proud of it. I was actually proud of it after <laughs> the fact. Um, but yeah, so now instantly resolved because he is submerged with French. And as I mentioned in a prior video, we now do everything in English to make sure that the kids keep up their level of English and continue to advance in English. So we'll see you next time for more adventures. A bientôt. A bientôt.